when you're gonna cover crime, have common sense. A photo is not worth your life. My name is Roberto Rosales. I'm a photojournalist with the Albuquerque Journal. I've been a staff photographer for 16 years. Not, uh, I haven't had two days that are the same in 16 years with the Journal. Before working at the Albuquerque Journal, Rosales worked in the East Coast as a fine arts photographer. After realizing all of his photos had a, quote, documentary feel, he decided to go into photojournalism. He is now a general assignment photographer where he frequently takes pictures for crime stories. It was a group of, cy of motorcyclists. They were trying to make the, the red light, and the guy in the back, in the very back of the group, crashed into an SUV and got dragged and pinned under the car. They had the car like wrapped around with blankets at the very bottom because he basically died under that car. So there was a drive-by shooting in a neighborhood and these two guys shot up this apartment and it turned out they shot into the wrong house and they killed a little girl. I, I ended up translating for the family because they didn't speak English. So I sort of got involved in the story and I followed him to the hospital. Try to help him out a little bit. A lot of people mistake us for being paparazzi-like, but that's, that's an insult, you know? I'm a human being first, and a photojournalist second. Photographing victims of crimes and tragedies is hard on anyone, but Rosales said he has ways of keeping his morale up. Everybody has a way to decompress. You know, I like to watch movies, listen to music, and teach. I like teaching at the university. It gives me a little bit of a break from hardcore news and photojournalism, seeing really bad things out there. Rosales said even though his job can be difficult, he couldn't see himself doing anything else. This is what I want to do. I, I want to tell stories. Three, nine, two, or so. Yeah.